Hello guys, welcome back to Tutorials Point. We are in the middle of video lecture discussing about the application development for Android. In, in these lectures, we are discussing about the UI control and the topic for the day is the, the date picker. So now this is a typical date picker looks like. So date picker is an option that allows the user to select the date consisting of the day, month and the year in a custom user interface. We actually have two functionality by which we can implement a date picker. One is the date picker itself and second is the date picker dialog. So we would be uh, seeing the date picker using the dialog. If you remember, we have also seen the time picker using dialog. So dialog is nothing but an overlay on the layout and we created in our own Java file. So let's get started with the date picker. So, uh, so these are the steps to create a date picker. You open up your Android uh, studio, create a new application, take the layout in which you want to have the stuff like uh, the button to be on which you want to initiate the date picker. Also, you have to uh, have the entire concept, like, you know, uh, takes few to show the date and all these stuffs ready in the activity of main.xml. After this, you come to your main activity or Java and add the code. By code here, we mean setting up the entire date picker dialog. After this, if you run your application, you should be able to see a date picker dialog box onto your screen. So now let's get started with the activity underscore main.xml. This is my XML. This is the button. On click of this button, I am calling the set date method. Remember this method in a very proper manner because you would be using it. So the user opens this application, comes on the set date method. As he comes on the set date method, in our activity, main activity or Java, that is this file, the user comes on the set date method. As he comes on this particular method from a particular view, we set up a show dialog method with a particular ID that is in this case triple line. Whenever we call the show dialog method, a method that follows it immediately is the on create dialog method. Here, what we do, this method would be returning a dialog type, a dialog to me. So in this one, I check if the ID of the picker of the, if the ID of the show dialog is triple line as I passed it over here, then return. What do I have to return? I'm returning up a date picker dialog with these parameters. So what are these parameters? This parameter being the date click listener, the year, the month, and the day, which is already by default selected. So after this, uh, it actually comes on the date set listener, that is this dialog. And here, whatever date has been set by the user, we get this date over here and we call the show date method. The three parameters are the uh, year, the month and the day in this respective order. If you remember, these are the values that were passed over here. From here, we have, we also pass the similar values. We got it from here and we have fetched it over here in this particular order. The order starting from year, the month and the day. After this, I come into my, this one, into this function that is on date set. And here I call the function show date. The best part about show date is having, it is also having three parameters. Th that is year, month and day. And here I'm just getting a, I'm just taking an object of the text view and I'm setting the text as day. Then I'm giving a slash. I'm appending the month. I'm giving a slash and then appending the year. And this date would be by default or would automatically be set onto the screen. So let me show you uh, how do we do it onto our Android Studio. So we would be starting from this particular method. Here we would be uh, on, from, on on click of a button, we would be coming into the set date method, we would be firing up a dialog. The dialog would be calling the on create method. On create method would be returning me your date picker dialog. This dialog would be if the after the date picker has been uh, popped up or it has been shown on the screen, if the user sets a date and click on set. So whenever this is clicked, so on date set function is called, which is a function of the uh, date picker dialog. And it's, it's having a function as on date set listener. So this, this listener is invoked and under its anonymous class, we are, we are uh, having the entire parameters. We fetch this parameters and we call our own method that is the show date method. And this, this method actually sets up the text view and shows the date that has been set by the user. So let's quickly go to our Android Studio and see the actual working for the date picker. 
yeah hello guys welcome back again as we have quickly seen about the uh, date picker that like how do we invoke the date picker we have even had a code walkthrough about the date picker dialog in which we saw so now let's quickly open up our android applications in our android studio and see how the how is the working of the date picker so first let's open up the layout uh, the layout folder file that is activity underscore main dot xml so this is my activity underscore main dot xml here i'm having a button on click of this button, the set date function with the parameters view is getting invoked. The button is present in the Java file or the main activity or Java. Then we are having two text view. One is simply to say that the the date is and the second is a date select, whatever date is being selected. So now let's quickly go to our main activity or Java and see the code over there. So on click of the set date button this particular function this particular method is getting invoked this method is, is saying that show dialog triple nine as i already told you that whenever show dialog is called after show dialog the function that is automatically called is the on create dialog and it is called with the with the id that is passed like nine triple like nine 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 over here and this ID comes over here. We compare this ID with the triple nine and we return what we return the date picker dialog. If you can check the return type of the function is the date picker dialog. So what happens is we after we return it to this particular function we should be able to have a view which is ready that is the date picker dialog. It is having the listener, the year, the month and the day. As soon as we click something on the date picker dialog, that is when we click on the OK button or when we set the date, we have three parameters in the date picker dialog or on date set method. The first is the picker or the dialog, second is the year, third is the month, third is the month, and fourth is the day. After this, we call the show date method. What we have done, we have passed it over here, like the year, the month, and the Day. month is in form of array so we are just incrementing it by one and in the show date method we set the text of the text view 3 this text view if you look at it properly this text view would be named as date view see date view now we set the text using the string builder we have the day then the then the slash then the month then the slash and then a followed by a year. So now if we run the application onto our phone and let's see what is the output. Also, even on the on create, we are trying to get the instance of a calendar, the by default calendar present, and are calling the show date method. So even if we don't click the set date, um, the set date button, still the text view that is that is there, the text view, this text view that is the date text view or the text view three, would be showing us the date. So now let's quickly run the application and see what is its performance. So here's my application. Like see, even I have not set the date, but still from the on grid, this is showing me this date. And on click of the set date, I am able to uh, see the dialog box is getting prepared. After that, I am getting a CA that is, you know, just a toast that I had shown. And this is my entire dialog box. I choose this date, 10th of August. I click on OK. I get 10th August 2016. So guys, I hope you have got a fair idea of how date date pay dialog works. Uh, after this particular example. So thank you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned as we'll be taking you through the other section and the other Android application development concepts. Thank you.